So before we get into this week's video guys, I just want to give a massive shout out to the names that you're seeing on the screen just now. These people support me on Patreon and if you want to support me on Patreon as well, the links will be in the video description below. But for just now, let's get on to this week's vlog. another vlog and today I want to chat about the uproar that I have been seeing around this trailer for Wreck-It Ralph. Number one, I did not expect last week's video to blow up as much as it has. I mean guys this video took off in terms of where my channel was in terms of stats. Last week's video totally exploded and it raised a lot of very interesting topics and discussions both in the comments and other videos that people have been sending me, tweeting me, showing me on Facebook etc. There have been a lot of people that have been offended by the Merida scene that has been included in Wreck-It Ralph 2. Now I've done my best to go around and try and watch a couple of these sources to try and get their thoughts and opinions and views on the topic. For the most part I can see that a lot of people have a problem with how Disney, not Pixar, but how Disney have taken their adaptation of Merida and made her slightly more feminine. Which I totally get because the whole thing about Merida in the original movie of Brave was that she was meant to be quite tomboyish. She was meant to walk like a boy, sit like a boy and her mum was always telling her off for it. So I totally get that because that's not true to her character and they feminised her to make her a bit more of a Disney princess. Totally get it. But then there's been a lot of people that have been offended by the way that the scene of none of the other Disney princesses of being able to understand her. Now, well, number one, I mean, this is obviously, I want to just start this video by saying this is completely my opinion and does not express the thoughts and opinions of every Scottish person in Scotland, but when I watched that scene, my first reaction, and you guys can watch it if you haven't seen it already because my live reaction was recorded on last week's video, I'll leave a card up, up above. My initial reaction was, man, that's funny. I wasn't offended. I have sat in the room and been that person before. I've sat in a room full of lots of English people because in my work, in my work I train and I had loads of people up. I almost said what we were training them on there but uh, I tried to keep my job out of my YouTube channel. I had lots of people up and I was training them and they were from Birmingham and they were from like Liverpool and Manchester and London especially so not a single Scottish person in the midst. There was about 15 of them and there would be times that I would say sentences and they'd be like, can you say that again please? And they're, they're like, they're like her brothers and sisters just down the road from us. They're just down in England. Half of them aren't even that far away. I'm pretty sure if I drove, drove for like three hours I would get to half of them. So no, I wasn't offended. I thought that that scene, hilariously done, does pose the issue that Scottish people have, which is that nobody can really understand us even when we're speaking normally. What I did find, however, that I thought was very interesting is half the people in the comments that are regulars to my channel understood the sentences just fine, but people who were new to the channel and, and potentially haven't watched a lot of Scottish YouTubers found it very difficult to pick it up. And the sentence that seemed to throw everybody off was The Olgen tried to dare in, which was her saying that her dad tried to kill her mum effectively. Which sounds really evil when you say it like that, just her dad tried to kill her mum. But the Olgen doesn't mean father in, in Scottish, all gin it translates to old one and depending on the context could mean grandfather, grandmother, great-grandfather, great-grandmother, mother, father, somebody that's older, like any old person round about you, like old gin, it's just old one effectively is what it translates to. But we know that in that context of that sentence that she was referring to her father. I was not offended and I don't want to take anything away from the people who say that they were offended because it's really not my place. But I have this con, I have this like there's part of me who who wants to just, I'm just gonna say it, okay? If you are that easily offended by something, you shouldn't be on the internet. I'm sorry, but the, the internet should not be for people that are that easily offended by something. It's not like the Scottish people have ever really been degraded or put down. It's not like we are an ethnic minority. It is not like we are all an, an uneven sex or what, you know, like it's not like we're talking feminist issues here. We're not talking racist issues here because it's not technically, Scotland isn't technically a race. It's something else, it's xeno something. Some, you guys will educate me 
in the comments. I can't spell it, I can't say it. I'm, I'm thick as shit. I just, I, I forgot the word. You know that's, that, that thing where it's like, it's not defamation if it's true. And in that scene, I could totally relate to Merida because I've been in that position so many times with English people, with Americans, with some of my friends. I have friends all over the world. We regularly have met up. When I went to Boston four years ago, which was amazing by the way, half of the Bostonians couldn't understand me unless I spoke very slow. And bloody half the people I was with as well had to ask me to repeat a word or two because of how fast I spoke. And because Scottish isn't a natural version of the English language that we speak with. And I think we need to respect that about people. I don't think that Disney were meaning this to degrade Scottish people at all or make fun of us. And hey, if they did, who cares? This the whole thing about being a Scottish person is you're meant to be able to take a laugh. We as a nation, wind each other up continuously. It's what we do to show that we are affectionate with each other. Like, I call my best friend cunts. It's just what we do. I mean, and that's, I mean I'm mean, i saying it's what we do. I'm speaking for all the Scottish people again, which I can't do. But round here, in my friend group, and the people that I know, that is what we do. If you care for somebody, you prank them. You make fun of them. But you do it in a sort of loving way. Like, there's there's calling somebody like, oh, yeah, you yeah, fucking cunt. And then there's, oh, you cunt, come here. Come on, we're going for breakfast. There's a difference, there's a total difference. And, and it's like affectionately making fun of. And that's kind of where my head was going with this Disney sketch was that they didn't have her like shoveling haggis in her mouth and drinking underage or it was like just that nobody could understand her. Which happens to us all the time. So I'm sorry if it offended you, I very much am. I can understand the, the whole thing around like them slightly changing her character. I get that argument, totally can relate to that. I guess I can totally see where you are coming from. But in my heart, humble opinion to the people on the internet and this also goes for controversies that have recently come about on Twitter where jokes have been made and jobs have been losted as a result. If half of the games I played of bloody Cards Against Humanity ever ended up on Twitter I would be out of job as well. People need to learn when a joke is a joke and when something is serious okay and yes some jokes can be hurtful but that is not like you don't go to the extremes of being that easily offended instead we should be open to having gentle conversations with each other to better educate, I think, personally, than just throwing around as I'm offended at everything. Gosh, is that a cat? I'm offended that cat's out in the street. Who owns that cat? That's animal cruelty. That cat is shitting in my back garden. I am offended. I'm offended by everything. I'm offended by the spider that was in my kitchen that I killed with my hoover. I'm offended by the walls here. They're white. How dare they be white? I want black walls. You can, you can there, there's a point where we can go too far with things and I feel like we're, we're in that realm. And in my mind, what has made Scotland such a great place in the world and on the internet is we have always been able to make fun of ourselves and have a laugh and take a laugh. We have to when we have the English as neighbours. I'm joking, that was a joke. See, that was that, that was that using humour as like a banter, as like an affectionate thing. <laughs> That's what we do. I've had a rant, I'm so sorry. And I get if you disagree with this, I totally get it because everybody is entitled to their own opinion, even if it is wrong. But those are my thoughts. What what did you think? If you're Scottish, let me know in the comments down below what was your thoughts and opinions on this. If you're American, what is your thoughts and opinions on this as well? If the cards were flipped and we had a bunch of Scottish people in a room and an American or a Canadian or a Texan, I'm saying Texan like it's not part of America, but it almost technically isn't. Wherever you're from, if you're Japanese or whatever, if you were the oh the alternative person in that room and that character was that was happening to that character. How would you feel? Put yourself in our shoes. Let me know what you would think and how you would react as well. Let me know all of that in the comments down below because I love reading through your guys' comments and I will be around to answer some of them. Before we finish up today though, a couple of announcements. First of all, I do want to announce that my PO box has opened. After a long battle with Royal Mail, we have got the PO box open. The information for the PO box over to send anything will be in the video description down below. Please do not send me too much stuff guys because I got, I'm very much aware that a lot of people have been waiting for a long time for me to open my PO box. Please don't send me snacks and crisps and chocolates and things. I'm on a very strict diet and the kilted coaches will kill you. Please don't send me anything too big, like little things, like maybe an ice cube tree, like a Harry Potter themed ice cube tree, or postcards. I love getting postcards from different places around the world. Or better yet, fridge magnets. I need fridge magnets. See if you guys want to send me one fridge magnet or something from like wherever you are. Almost there. Just send me small things guys, small things. And if you want to send me a t-shirt, because a lot of people sent me t-shirts last time but they were too, but far too big for me. I'll have the measurements in the video description down below as well. Also on our thing as well is the Kickstarter for Fjoch. 
probably said that wrong, watches has kicked up. So for those of you that do not know, these watches are made 100% handmade in Scotland from whiskey barrels, which I think is super cool. They totally work as well, they're gorgeous watches. You can get different designs, it's got like tartan straps and everything, they make great gifts. Their Kickstarter has launched to launch their business. It is an all or nothing project, meaning that you will not get billed unless they meet their target. Guys, I'm gonna leave a link for this Kickstarter down in the video description down below. I think that's it from the, for the announcement. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. Don't forget to click that subscribe button because it is free to subscribe to a YouTube channel and I put up a new video every single week. Don't forget to check out my other videos down below and don't forget to check out my Lara last of the week. You will see them right over there. But for just now, that's all we've got time for and I will see you next week with another vlog. But until then, here's your back, guys.